Welcome to SCTV here with Jesus Corden, Formula 2 1 victory over Abingdon United. Jesus, your thoughts on today's game? Well, yeah, it was a tough one. It was one that we really have to, we really have to work hard for it. Um, but yeah, I think we did. The team was pushing until the end. I think in the first half, with a bit more patience, we could create a bit more, but still, I think it was, we would dominate the, the half. And, and, you know, we can see the goal that we to watch back, but. Um, it was from from a silly mistake, I think, and and apart from that, we dominate the whole half. Um, some players struggle a, little, a bit with the sun as well, just in front of, of them, so that could be a, a handicap. But in general, obviously, we'll keep pushing until the end. The goalkeeper make a few good saves. Uh, we create enough chances, and finally, we got the reward. So yeah, no, I'm pleased and I'm very happy with the game. It's back to winning ways to the side now. Three points in the league, just pushing up. Your position in the league again. Your thoughts on sort of how the league's going so far? Yeah, that thing we need to be positive about it. Obviously, we we lost two games against the top two uh, at the moment, but after that, I think you know we, we bounced back quite well, and and we got every every game in the league. So for, from that moment, it was a win. So um, yeah, no, it's good. Good run. We need to keep pushing. We need to keep getting points, especially here at home, but away as well. And we know some games it will be like today, you know, some teams will play well, will defend well, and, and we are going to have to work hard for it, but we are up to it, so no, it's good, and we need to yeah, keep getting points and, and stepping in, in the table a little bit. Just to focus on Georgia Tibble, her second 90 minutes of a row, she got 90 minutes against Bournemouth last week, another 90 today, plus the winning goal. Having her back in the side, match fit and getting those minutes in must be pleasing for you. Yeah, 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 no, he is. Um, she's a very good player. We know the talent that she has. Uh, she also is working very, really hard today in the game. She worked really, really hard. Um, she creates chances. She was, you know, everywhere on the pitch helping. Um, and, you know, she got the reward as well with a header. So, uh, <laughs> no, it was really good. I'm pleased for her. And, and yeah, it's really nice to have her on the team. Two quite different score lines between the first one we played them in the FA Cup compared to today. What do you think was the difference between those two games? I think um, obviously every game is different, and you know sometimes um, the games come out the, the way that came out the other the other day in the FA Cup. But we need to remember that half time we were only one nil up in that game, and then it's two, we scored two goals quite early, and I think they probably mm, give up kind of thing after that that three goals, and because of, it got, it was a cup game as well. But we knew that today we were expecting the team that you know they were in the first half in that game, and we were expecting them to to put a challenge, especially because you know when you beat a team for for a few goals, and you play them again in the next few weeks, they are gonna really come ready for it because obviously they they want to take revenge and and they want to try to beat you. So I think it's, yeah, it was expected, but yeah, I think it wasn't them. I think they were a bit better than they were the other day. Um, still, we created enough chances, and I think still we were the better team. But you know, every game is different and sometimes that happens. Just quick look forward head to next week. It's a big one, FA Cup first <laughs> round against Comets. Just how are you feeling going into that game? As usual, with confident, fully confident to go for the game. Um, you know, obviously FA Cup we know is always special and yeah, we need to go for it. We need to go for it with everything. So I hope, you know, have a positive week. Uh, obviously after today the I think it's gonna it's gonna take us a bit the heads up and, and the smile on the face, so we're gonna go go for it 100% with confidence. Thank you.